What's up guys, this is Walid and today's problem is the changing cross section. So we have a water pipe and it has different radius, it, it becomes smaller. So they're asking the first question, what's the volume flow rate? And this guy is just V1, A1 velocity times area. So in my, in my case it's 0.88 pi and then r squared which is 0.2 squared. The area of a circle is pi r squared. So for this guy I got 0 0.110528 meter cubed per second. Now what's the velocity of the water in the smaller section? So we know that the volume rate doesn't change. Volume rate over here is the same over here. Okay. So what we can do is we can do 1.110528 is equal to A2 V2. Okay. So those guys are so 0.110528 divided by the area which is pi and then the area in this case is r2 which is point 0.9 point oh nine squared and then for this guy I got 4.34 4 meter per second All right, it makes sense because um, we will get larger velocity and a smaller area because the ratio has to stay the same so Using the water supply, how long would it take to fill up a swimming pool with a volume of V equal 139 meter cubed? So they want it in minutes in here too. So 139 meter cubed. And then what I did is just, just unit manipulation. By 0.11052. And this is meter cubed per second, right? And then we do times minute divided by 60 second because they want the answer in minute. So the units will cancel out. This one will go up and then we'll cancel with the second. So from here we got. 20.96 minutes. Cool. Alright, the water pressure in the center of the large section, they get some pressure in the larger section and assume the density of the water is 10 to the power of 3 kilograms per meter cube. With the pressure in the center of the smaller section of the pipe. Okay. So basically we're just using this equation which is P1 plus half the density of the water V squared one is equal to P2 plus half density of the water V2 squared. And also we normally have P gh in the equation in here so plus here and plus here but they cancel out because we're assuming that the center is going to be the, the it's going to have the same height so that means the pgh will just cancel for both because h is the same p is the same and g is going to be the same okay so p1 is going to be what they gave us the given so it's two Six three three eight zero plus half thousand times V one squared, which is point eight eight squared equal P two plus half thousand and then three point three four squared. And then you just do the math and then you get P2 equal to 25, 4, 349.4 Pascal. 
Okay. And for the last question, they just flipped it. They're asking what change, but the volume rate doesn't change. Since they said the volume rate is going to be the same, it's always the same for the smaller section, for the bigger section, and for the smaller section. Okay. So the only thing that changes is the pressure in the smaller section. Okay. Because remember, the PGH will change. Now the height here and here is different. So the PGH will be different. Cool. All right, guys. Hope this helped. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.